Hi gang, welcome back. I want to show you PixelSep's color separation software now. Uh, so again, I'm going to go to Filter, PixelSep, right there in the Filter menu. And when it pops up, I'm going to take it over here on the screen, hit Color Separate. And the first thing you're going to notice is that PixelSep has a bunch of options, not a simulated process and an index. It's got um, two different possibilities of simulated process and two different possibilities of index and a simple spot. And the biggest difference between the two, uh, well, let's say simulated process, there's a preset and there's a selectable, color selectable, user color selectable. And the biggest difference is, I'm going to show you, the preset has got several preset uh, models that you can uh, separate. And the basic that's the one that uh, the majority of color separators out there now have, separation software have. Uh, you hit the button, you get a yellow, a red, magenta, cyan, green, blue, gray, and black. And some don't even have gray. But anyway, that's my basic. And uh, Pixel uh, Sep offers way more. There's a, an extended palette right here. There's heavy reds, heavy blues, heavy greens, heavy golds, heavy purples, flesh tones. And surf tones. I had to put the surf tones in there because we're in Santa California, in Orange County, and that's what we do. Um, anyway, just so you get the idea of how this works, this piece here has got probably a little bit more. I want this green to pop, and there are several greens in these heavy or in these heavy uh, palettes here. That means that the palette is loaded with. Um, those colors, like in the heavy red, you can see that there's the regular red and a darker red, like a 188 red or something like that. Um, and the reason why I did that was because a lot of times uh, we're trying to find those colors and we're not able to get them. We're having to put black on top of it or blue on top of it or something like that. This will aid in being able to narrow down your palette a little bit better. And um, Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hit the heavy greens just to try and help this out here. So it's going through the process right now, and when everything is said and done, this thing will be separated in simulated process with all these colors. And of course, like any other separation software, we don't need to use all these colors, but they will all be available to us. Um, now, another thing I'm going to show you that uh, is available to us is a separation editor. And I'm going to briefly go over this. I'm not going to make a big thing out of this, but just to show you that all the colors are here and they're all edited. And I'm going to bring this off screen just a little bit, just so you can see what's going on. I'm going to make this a white shirt uh, so we don't have to deal with any of the, the base and the white highlight for now. Um, but just so you can tell, if I take the black out, it takes the black out of the image. And uh, we have some, some pretty hot colors here. If I saturate the the yellow, you can see it pops a little bit better. If I take out the red, you can see that it's missing. There's no such thing as a magenta in here. Uh, not much of a turquoise in here. There probably is some of this uh, yellow green, or not. Um, olive green, teeny bit. Um, there definitely is some gray. Uh, none of this stuff here. Some of that stuff there. Um, not much blue, but by the time I narrow this thing down, I could probably narrow it down even more. But now we've got a six color image on a white gun. So if I get out of the program, come over here and X out, you can see that that's exactly what we have. Where are my channels? There they are. Let me bring them over here. You can see that that's exactly what we have. We have these channels here, which we have decided not to use, and these channels here. It's pretty much the same thing as what I did in the program. But there's one more thing I want to show you about uh, the simulated process in this, and that is, let me get it up on the screen here, here it comes, there it is. There's a second side of the simulated process here, and of course we have the standard um, um, palettes that I showed you, um, including the basic and all that kind of stuff, but we also have a select uh, simulated process where you can select your colors. And so now if I come over here and try to find a place where I can put this and still be on the screen, I can locate our color. We know there's a red, green, black, like a turquoise blue, or maybe a, a Carolina blue. So let me start picking colors out of here. Gray, you can see that. Here's our black. And if we hit the black, we can see that it shows the green. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull the gray. 
even though we might not use it, but uh, we can edit from it. And that's something else I'll show you. And now we pick our colors, yellow, the red, and this Carolina blue. And you can see that it picked those colors out pretty good. I'm going to hit the Carolina blue again, see if I can get this to fill in a little better, and you can see what it did. The way this works, if I hit it, let me get back to this, if I hit it once, that uh, pulls the color. If I hit it twice, that saturates that color a little bit more. If I hit it third time, it turns the color off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it one more time, and one more time to help it pop a little bit more. I'm going to hit this black second time to help it pop a little bit more and fill this in. And as you can see, that's pretty much what we have here. I'm going to come back over here and hit this orange. See if it'll help the sky a little bit. And as you can see, it did. So now we have a six color image with a base and the top white. I'm going to go ahead and hit the simulation or the step editor just so you can see where we're at here. Now let's say I don't want to use this gray. Um, you know, maybe we have a six color press you know, on white again. Whoops. Let's go back to the, on white. Fill the base. Fill the top white. And uh, now we have five colors because your six color press is missing a head. One head jacked up. Always got to assume that. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the black. We're now editing the black. Uh, we're going to put the gray in there for the interact. I'm going to come back over here to the, um, we're in the black, but we're going to use some of the gray to go into the black. So we're going to saturate from, and as you can see, it made a little bit of a difference. We'll do it one more time, maybe. And uh, this is the actual color because we're not showing this. Remember, gray is off. Now we're going to turn it back a little bit. And uh, we'll get into all that later. Uh, get out of the program all together. By the way, this is going to say thank you so and so you're logged out because it works. There's no such thing as a dongle on this machine. In this uh, software it uses a software dongle online. So it doesn't mean that you can't use it offline. It's just that it uses a dongle online when it's online. Okay, so we have our colors here. And our colors are, pull them all out here. There's our white shirt. There's our yellow, our orange. Or red, which you might not even need the orange if you've got another jack up there. Um, the blue that we hit pretty hard, excuse me, and the black. And there's your image. Now we could have actually hit a green in here too. Uh, and we might even still be able to um, get some more green out of that. But uh, uh, if we would have hit the green, we would have got more green as well. But just for the sake of showing you this, um, I wanted to, to show you that. <laughs> I want to show you the index next. I'm going to get out of that, get back into filter, uh, pixel set. Now, index does the same thing that the simulated process does in that it has preset palettes that are similar to the ones that we've had in the past with other programs, an eight color through a four color. And the only difference is I give you some options on the different colors. We have a brown instead of a, a magenta. We have a green instead of a magenta. We have a uh, cyan instead of a, a blue. So we have some more options there that uh, um, will work well. I'm going to go ahead and hit the eight color um, index. And as you can see, it indexed it. I'm going to hit the editor because you don't get channels until you hit the editor with the, with the index. And in a second now, it's going to come up and show you the, the steps. You hit the yellow, and boom, we're in business. Um, I just did this just so I can show you. I'll go ahead and get out of this real quick. You're welcome. And just to show you where we're at here, you can see that it did, it did a uh, index up with the standard index colors. I'm going to X out of this, get back in again, filter, pixel set, and I'm going to show you the user selectable index. And this really is the, the meat and bones to me of this program is the ability to do this because you can sit on the phone. One of my customers already had sent me an email yesterday telling me that he did exactly this. His customer sent a graphic. It was a JPEG. It was all jacked up. And he sat there and picked out the colors. This is yellow. Now, since this is indexed, you hit the yellow and everything in here is going to be yellow. You hit whatever color is going to be there. We're going to hit the orange just because we had that orange in there. Hit the red because of the 
plain as red with black just to try and help, help that pop. We're going to hit the dark green. You can see, see that we're starting to get um, some color in this thing. Now we have a pretty good um, palette there, and all we did was choose these colors. Uh, we also have control over the dither amount. I'm going to back out of this. If I hit this black without the dither, you can see that we have a real choppy image now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the dither back up. You can bring this all the way up if you want. Um, all the way up pretty much means that each pixel will be different from the pixel next to it. So anyway, that's pretty much that. I can get into the editor from here, although it won't be much good. There's not a lot that it will do. Um, unless you want to take, say, the orange and put that color in the red. And let's say we want to add that to the red here. And we're going to ixnay it out of here. We're going to edit the yellow now. We're going to add it to there. And now we have um, an index set, but the colors are on top of each other. So we'll actually have a wet on wet and a yellow flash red or something like that. And this will get it down to a in a second, let's get it down to a five color. So that is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see if I can get out of this one here. Just so I can show you. This is the custom set and the colors that you selected. Anyway, thanks again. Um, I'm going to do more tutorials on this, but this is just a brief, just to show you what it is um, demo. Uh, pixel set. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me um, at sales at pixelsap.com and please be sure and visit the pixelsap.com site. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.